It was amazing. <laughs> Little Miss Evelyn came into this world a mighty seven pounds, nine ounces, 21 inches long. February 15th is her birthday. Thanks to a new trend, her parents can remember the precious moments in detail. You wait so long for this day to come, and when she's born, it happens so fast. 27 hours of labor left first-time mom, Olympia Ming, physically drained. You're pushing as a woman, you're, you know, you have medication, so everything's a blur. And a blur for both as they worked to catch their very first glimpse of Evelyn. Yeah, I'll just put that epidural in. These videos and pictures they received from the photographer they hired to document Evelyn's birthday helped to fill in those gaps. Crystal caught that look of Phil's face when he saw his daughter for the first time, and it, it's, it, it was priceless. <laughs> That's the look, the look of pure joy. And this, the sound of a baby's first cries and the tears of a first time dad. Getting this perspective was worth any amount of money. I would highly, highly recommend to anybody um, who would ever would even consider this. <laughs> two of them. Crystal Turner is the woman behind the lens. A mother of two herself has made birth photography her specialty. Well, birth photography is not for everyone. You know, some people just are not going to accept it, and that is okay. It's very private, it's very intimate. As a woman, there isn't much that can shock her in a delivery room. In fact, many couples want pictures of every moment and every angle of their child's birth. Crystal tells me even blood can be beautiful. Or it shows like the emotions. You're more drawn into what's going on in the picture instead of being kind of distracted by different colors. She's one of a growing number of birth photographers in Indianapolis. Most are women and most are moms. So it's nice being able to see them take their first breath and watch the parents, especially first time moms, um, see their baby for the first time. It's very, very emotional. Jessica Vaughn only takes on a couple birth clients each year because of the unpredictable nature of birth. Whether it's a few hours or into the next day, um, luckily I have a good babysitter that watches my kids. A longtime OBGYN at St. Vincent Hospital tells me it's still most common for friends or family to snap photos, but she welcomes professional photographers too. Obviously in emergency situations or Stressful situations will have them kind of stay back while things are happening acutely. Thankfully, Evelyn was born healthy with very few delivery complications. So Crystal's pictures tell her entire birth story. It never felt like we had a stranger in the room. It never felt like there were cameras just flashing everywhere. It never felt, um, I never felt violated. Birth photographers are often asked where they stand during a delivery. Well, many stay by a mother's shoulders or even behind the hospital bed, but ultimately it comes down to a mother's preference, as it should. Though as the popularity of birth photography grows, so does the preference to document absolutely everything. Beth Vaughn, RTV6.